An another part of this whole belief is collaborating with the community and letting the community know that we not only believe in the community, but we want to serve the community. We had a group of employees that came together, came up with an idea this last year that I want to highlight for you because I think it personifies for us the commitment that we have as a school district to getting out and serving the community as well. So if we could run that next video. Hunger. More than 375,000 people in the Kansas City area are food insecure. They don't know where their next meal is going to come from. Harvester's Community Food Network is striving to serve those in need. Harvester's mission is to feed the hungry today and to work to end hunger tomorrow. Blue Valley wanted to be part of this mission. We recognized as a department, you know, it's inevitable serving all the students that we do in, in the schools that we're going to have some food left over. I, I reached out to them to find out if there was more that we could do um, to take some of that leftover food items and, and get that into the community. As a result, the district established the innovative Blue Valley Food Recovery Program. By having adequate freezer space, food service staff at all Blue Valley High Schools and three combo school locations properly store leftovers from school lunches for harvesters to pick up twice a week. Not only now do they get a chance to impact all the students with the meals that we serve every day in the schools, now we're reaching outside of the community, so it's really been a tremendous experience for our staff. We serve here, which is, we wouldn't be in this job if we didn't enjoy serving. But to know that we're serving outside these walls is even better. By their believing in what they're doing and they're helping harvesters in its mission, it's the only way it could happen. According to Harvesters and Feeding America, Blue Valley is the only school district in the country with a food recovery program. Feeding America is a national network of food banks, and we've checked with them, and they don't have any other food banks working with a school district like what we've started with the Blue Valley School District. Um, hopefully we're setting a model for other school districts in the country that it can be done, and um, with a little effort that, that, that we could all uh, nationally make an impact by, by being a part of a program such as this. So we're very excited to be on the, the start of this and help create it. It's going to be a, a model that will eventually be spread throughout the country. Donations from Blue Valley Schools have provided more than 81,000 meals to more than 40 on-site feeding organizations. St. James Place, a food pantry and community kitchen, is one organization that greatly benefits from the program. We serve almost 280 meals per evening for the needy of Kansas City here in Midtown. It's important that Blue Valley has stepped forward to say, we do want to do something, and, and it's, so it's a great partnership. The program is an excellent example of staff members having compassion for and responsibility to the community. Staff modeling how to be responsible and caring citizens is just another way to help students experience an education beyond expectations. We hope by, uh, by starting this program that, that it's recognized in the community and that our students see the impact that's being made and that they can recognize the fact that it's something that they can also be a part of. To let them know that, that we as a kitchen staff is also doing some type of community service and give it out to others. To all those who are involved in this partnership in Blue Valley, I want to say thank you on behalf of everyone who has received the generosity that they have given. These things make a difference in people's lives. You know, I hope you caught the statement that we are the only school district in the country with this type of food recovery program. We want to be a role model for our kids as adults. We want to be a role model for other districts across the country. We just feel like this is an area, is an area quite frankly, where we can really, really be of service. Um, you know, community engagement is so important. I mean, if, if we have an engaged community, we're going to be a better school district for that. Our business community is extremely engaged uh, with the school district. Um, I'm going to talk about the CAPS program a little bit later, but that's a great example. 240 some business partnerships, um, you know, just on a daily basis, businesses 
um, mentoring our kids, businesses coming in as guest speakers, um, you know, actually guest teachers, those kinds of things. Um, working with individual buildings, we have building partnerships with businesses. One area that goes overlooked, I think, a lot of times, because we really don't publicize it, but that's, that's the financial area. Our businesses in this community pay taxes. They pay a lot of taxes. In fact, our businesses in this community paid over $52 million in taxes to help support the kids in Blue Valley last year. So those of you that are business leaders out there, business owners, I want you to know we recognize that. We understand that. We appreciate that, even though you don't get credit for those tax dollars publicly very often. But I, I wanted to publicly acknowledge that today because it's, it's so important that the community understand the tremendous impact that the business community has on our kids and our, on our school district. You know, another way that you all show your support is by supporting us with bond issues. Last um, February, February of 2012, we put a bond issue out in front of the voters and you overwhelmingly passed that bond issue. <laughs> And right now, we have a lot of evidence of how that money is being spent. And I want you to know and understand that our Board of Education is providing tremendous oversight for the projects that, are we, that we are putting together. Those dollars are being spent wisely. Um, I might mention that we're um, bringing a lot of projects in under budget. Uh, this isn't in the script, but I should mention to you that our overall budget this next year, um, the tax burden is going to go down by two mills. Um, I just want you to know, our board is really, really um, providing tremendous oversight for the entire budget but for um, our building program in particular. We have a lot of uh, building improvements and reconstruction. We have a lot of technology things that are happening. And we also have a lot of safety enhancements. And I want to talk about those in particular for just a minute. Your Board of Education had the foresight to put $20 million in that bond issue for safety enhancements, and that was prior to the tragedy uh, in Newtown, Connecticut. And because our board really is focused on the safety of our kids. A lot of those dollars are going towards um, more secure entryways, pinch point entryways, and we have right now about two thirds of our buildings that that construction's complete. A year from now, I'll be able to announce that every one of our buildings has that pinch point uh, entryway. We are upgrading our camera systems we're working with our principals to be sure that the, the drills that they run are run at, at inopportune times. We want to have safety drills during lunch, during recess, whatever, so that kids are prepared and, and know in the event that we would have some kind uh, of a happening or, or of an occurrence. It's really important to us. But the thing I want you to, to take away more than the hardware, more than the construction dollars, is really the basis for our plan. Because the basis of our plan really is pretty soft, it deals with relationships. Folks, we believe that if each and every kid has a minimum of one adult, one caring adult in a building that they can go to, that they can share with, something that they might see on Twitter, something that might come across a Facebook page, something that they might overhear someone saying, whatever, that those kinds of things, building those relationships are gonna play, pay dividends, not only in safety, but quite frankly, in the personal growth of those kids. And so please know, we're a, we're a school district that really, really believes in and values relationships. 